Okay, just about ready to finish up the base assembly prior to putting on the side rails and the bumpers. Uh, basically, of course, you have your angular adapters here in the corners. One thing of note that the kit come with a longer bolt and a shorter bolt. Um, both of these are half inch hex nuts. So the only way you're going to get this is to put the shorter bolts on the inside of the angular frame and leave the longer ones on the outside. Even there it's a tight fit, you really can't get in there with a wrench. So you're best to use a thin walled uh, half inch socket to get in there to tighten them up. And basically you have the bolts for the angular supports. Uh, what I did was to make it easier you can slide these all together if you wanted to, but I pre-mounted these, left them loose, put in the bolts that I need them to secure that, and I'll just slide them up, put the nuts on so that you can secure them. The button head bolts are basically what screw into the end of the uh, extrusion for the cross members, and then these just basically then slide in to the grooves on the rails and then there's counterboard holes that they provided that allow you to get in there with a 3 16 hex wrench uh, to tighten them up and then that'll pull them together and tighten them up and then you tighten up your brackets uh, it's a good thing uh, to try and square it right now basically everything is is put together kind of loosely I have a aluminum angle that I'm going to use to try and make sure I have the cross uh, members and so forth squared up and then we'll uh, move on next to putting on the uh, bumpers and the steel uh, rail supports